Welcome to Electro Online, and now let's test our knowledge. Let's see how much we've learned so far. Can we find the, sol the following solution? We're trying to find the square root of 4.2 to an error smaller than 0.0001 using this, the Taylor series expansion. And to help us out, we're going to use the function f of x equals the square root of x, and the first, second, and third derivative already laid out for us. And then we're going to use a equals 4. We're going to pick a equals to value close to the value of x at which we have to evaluate it. And so we then find f of 4, f prime of 4, f double prime of 4, and f triple prime of 4. Now, the Taylor series expansion will require a certain number of terms. Since we picked the value for a very close to the value we're trying to evaluate, we probably won't need very many terms. I'm hoping to be able to get by with just two terms. So we can then say that the Taylor series expansion to the second degree, so we're going to try degree equals to 2, which means that the expansion is going to look as follows. It's going to be f of a plus f prime of a divided by 1 factorial times x minus a to the first power plus f double prime of a over 2 factorial times x minus a to the second power. Just to make sure that I'm going to have a solution that has an error smaller than then, let's then find the estimated error by realizing that the error of this estimation or will be less than the value of the next term. So we're going to find the value of the next term. So we're going to write the third term is going to be equal to the function of the third derivative, the third derivative of the uh, function evaluated at a, and that would be evaluated at 4, divided by 3 factorial times x minus a to the third power. So that's the very next term in the, in the series, but that's not going to be part of the evaluation here because we only want to take the first three terms the constant term plus the first and second, uh, second derivative term. So let's find out what the value of this is. So this is going to be equal to 3 over 256 times 3 factorial in the denominator, which is times 6, and times 4.2 minus 4 raised to the third power. So let's see what that is equal to. And if it's less than this, then we're good. That means that this expansion to three terms will give us a value with an error smaller than that relative to the true value. So let's find out. So here we have 0.2 raised to the third power times 3 divided by 256 and divided by 6 equals, and take a look at that, that is equal to 0 0.0000 Let's see, that's four zeros, one, five, six. And let's compare that to what we have over here. Notice that's the maximum error we're allowed. This is smaller than that, so we're good. We can go ahead and only use this expansion of the tail series, and it'll give us a value for the square root of 4.2 to within less than one ten thousand. That's pretty good. So let's go ahead and plug in the values and see what we get. This is equal to f evaluated at 4 plus the derivative evaluated at 4 divided by 1 times 4.2 minus 4 raised to the first power plus the second derivative evaluated, that would be uh, 1 over 32, well let's see here, that would be f double prime of 4 divided by 2 times 4.2 minus 4 squared. So this is equal to, we have 2 plus f prime of 4, that would be 0 0.25 times 0 0.2 plus the second derivative evaluated would be a minus 1 over 32 divided by 2 times 0 0.2 squared. And let's find out what that's equal to. So this is easy, so there would be 2 plus 0.25 times 0.2, and then minus, 
that would be minus the quantity 0.2 squared divided by 32 divided by 2 close the parentheses equals and we end up with the number 2.049375 now that's not the exact solution but we know it's going to be close but a very small error let's now use our calculator to find out what is the square it is of 4.2 so 4.2, take the square root, and the actual number is 2.049390. So you can see that there's just a very small difference between the approximated value and the actual value using the Taylor, Taylor series expansion to only three terms. It works quite nice, and that's how it's done.